Thank you for coming to the North Pole Gallery. Um, first of every month, the first Friday of every month, we, we do this, have an uh, artist meet and greet, and we profile one of our wonderful artists, over 30 wonderful artists we have here. And Ziori is uh, our newest, brand newest artist, and this is all of her work. Ziori and her husband Tango, which is much easier to say, uh, they actually emigrated here just over three years ago. From, from Georgia, not the, not the state, but the, the country in Eastern Europe, Georgia, uh, just over three years ago. Their daughter, Kenya, which is really funny. <laughs> and Ziori, uh, she actually mostly goes by Chachua. Um, uh, Teya is going to help with translation and whatnot. He's, he's going to ask uh, the two of them some questions. <laughs> and we do this every, every month. Just inspirations and whatnot and uh, anyway enough for me his V um, is going to take over and ask a few questions uh, to you dearly and uh, hey up will translate and if you guys have any questions please go ahead. hello everybody my name is his I'm the manager of the gallery I'm so glad that everybody's here tonight and so happy to introduce to you Shashua um, when I met her I was here at the gallery by myself. I was doing some framing job and she walked to the gallery and she says, here. And I'm like, okay, what do you want me to do with this painting? I thought she wanted me to frame the painting. And then she said, no, 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 no framing. And then she's like, no English, no English. And I'm like, Okay, how are we going to do this? Why, what? She won. What, what? What's happening? And then she's, wait, and her husband. My her English husband, problem, no, yes? Husband, yeah. <laughs> the husband says, wait, took the phone out, and he says, translate, say here what you want me to. Let's talk, let's talk. And I'm like, speak, speak. And I'm like, okay. So that was the way we figured out what was going on. And knew that she was an artist and she wanted to see his her pieces and uh, she wanted to see if we were interested to have her pieces here at the gallery and I'm like oh okay uh, do you have any other pieces that I can see and her, her husband went to the car brought more paintings and he said here oh okay <laughs> so it was really nice and I said I love them um with my English, no English, we figured it out somehow. And I said, okay. Art's a universal language. Yeah. So my I mom said, said, art doesn't need language. Exactly. <laughs> so we figured it out, and I said, yes, we can paint this. And then I think I emailed you, and, and, we actually and I explained her what was going on, and she's here now. So thank you for being thank here. You. And can you tell us a little bit about yourself? So I'm going to change the So, um, we're from Georgia, the country, in Eastern Europe. Um, they moved a couple of years ago because of me. I've been here 14 years and they uprooted all their lives and moved here uh, to be closer to me. I'm an only child, so <laughs> it was a little bit hard to fly 20 hours. Um, so her background, we, she grew up, was born, raised, grew up in Georgia, um, went to Art Academy, uh, became, uh, did the PhD there, and all her career spent at the Art Academy in Tbilisi, and all her art uh, kind of the career was built in Europe, uh, mostly from Georgia. And now they're moved here, and she's trying to start the, build this community, so she's very happy. She's very excited to be here today. <laughs> so uh, she's trying to build a community, and it's, uh, um, really understand the uh, people here, the lifestyles, the what we like, and uh, express that into her art. And she said that the rest of it, uh, my art tells you uh, how I feel. Usually when you look at her art over time, you can see the progression of uh, her feelings. 
from like the darker sides, that's one of the oldest paintings up there on the wall, to the very colorful and sunshiny ones uh, that are more Yes, please. Can you tell me about this painting? What was the inspiration for it? Inspiration to kill Kudro. So um, when she moved here first, uh, during fall, we have these red trees, right? They change the color and they become this vibrant red. And that was the first time that she saw those trees. We don't have those trees in Georgia. So she was very inspired. She, was this, she saw this was very character, characteristic to this area. And in her painting, what she shows is this red tree as a representation of Detroit. And the line that comes down from the tree is time. That time bleeds over Detroit, but Detroit stands. My other question would be, what is your inspiration? I know she talked a little bit about that, but when you start painting and you decided to become an artist, what was your inspiration? Uh, so um, she was born and raised in artist family. My grandfather was an artist. Her uncles, aunts, everybody oh. around her uh, were artists. And so all around it, from childhood, they grew up in a studio, uh, oh, right? right? In the, on one corner, somebody was painting, in another, somebody was uh, doing the sculptures. So from the childhood, it, it has been in her. Uh, <laughs> So the seed was planted during uh, her childhood. But since then, now that when she starts the painting, she truly believes that the universe, the kind of the environment around the artist is the inspiration. And all the time, non-stop time and the events that happen over uh, time over time, right? That's what gives her the inspiration and drives the artist to show that emotion and the growth and the change over time on the painting, on the canvas. Another question. Do you have a favorite artist that inspired you? When you were growing up, you had, I don't know, uh, impressionist, classic art, uh, abstract art, any style that inspired you? Also, Saparim Khatori, Romans, Inspiratia Mokta, in the Bausho Bidan and the Rayovit, Hins, Shen S. Khatro Bash, as you call it, Mogita, Mogandome. Mone and Lotrek. Mone and Lotrek. What do you like about that? That's always so real. So when she was learning and studying for art and mm -hmm. kind of getting up to, uh, you know, early steps of the career, she loved those two artists because she wanted to see and express the environment around her the way they they were able to. Uh, a question. Yeah. Uh, we talked about the all of us immigrants, and uh, I, I think what's lost on maybe a lot of Americans is um, the immigrant experience for first-generation immigrants. Um, it's very similar, and it doesn't matter what country you're coming from. The, the, having parents from another country is very different to my friends that have parents like from from here, and so the immigrant experience you uh, talked about a little bit in her biography. Uh, so my question is, how has the, uh, since you've been here, how has the immigrant experience uh, affected your artwork? Um, uh, 
Um, my dad used to make, he used to always ask her in general, right, when we were in Georgia, why are your paintings so dark? Why are they mostly, you know, darker, gray, more gloomy, right, like deeper colors? And she was like, well, that was the environment, right, 90s Georgia. And then since she moved here, she realized it's a sunshine country. So the mood somehow got elevated. <clears throat> and she sees that everything in the, around us has a happiness, hope in them. Mm -hmm. So she wanted to express that. And it, you can see in her paintings too, the colors are vibrant now. They show kind of the elevated mood that she's experienced. Do you prefer oils? Do you prefer acrylics? Or what is your medium, your favorite medium? Uh, she mixes. Mix, mix, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have you tried watercolors? Um, uh, Bush. The, the yeah, she is. Yeah. yeah. Any other questions from anybody? <laughs> yeah, so one characteristic that you will notice about my mom that sometimes the gallery managers and gallery owners don't okay. appreciate okay. is uh, uh, she doesn't name paintings, especially mm -hmm. the abstract ones. They don't have a name. So uh, we're gonna add a little bit what she said. When I was a kid and I was growing up in a studio with her, uh, I would walk up to her and I would say like, mom, what is that painting? Mom, what is that painting? And I would want to, her to tell me what it was. She would never tell me. And there's a reason. So for her, it's the emotion that the painting drives in each individual viewer, that's the name of the painting. So it could be named completely different from me, from you, right? Because it might drive different emotion in me than in you, so. So if she drove some sort of an emotion in you, that's the win for her, and that's the name. Yes. When you look at other art, what is your definition of what you like or not. Like how do you view art and feel like, ooh, that's something that really is a piece of me? Because I, I feel like that's really unique for everyone, and particularly for someone who creates it. So I'm curious what her thought is on that. So um, there are different parts of it, but first one is emotion, right? So if that emotion drives my emotion in it, then that's one thing, right? It's a win. And then the other one is the masterful. How masterful, what was the technique used in the painting? And like, is it interesting, deeper technique that's like unique to the artist? Do you mean speaking? Yes. Uh, she has been a professor for 32 years. So yes, every every single day. Yes. What, what is the part that you miss the most? <laughs> the relationship with students and seeing the spark in them, but it's, it also made me feel younger. <laughs> <laughs> okay, anybody else have any other questions? If no, we will, we would like to say thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you, you. Thank you for being brave and honest. <laughs> Thank you very much, everyone, especially you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, for the very first day when I came here, uh, terrified, <laughs> and you welcomed me, and uh, we became friends, and I appreciate the welcome thank and the warmth. Thank you. And thank you all for coming. I know a long way for some of you across across uh, Metro Detroit.
So welcome to North Pole. We have a great artistic community, a number of galleries, and a lot of wonderful things happening here in North Pole. We're proud to be part of it. And uh, so thank you for coming and spread the word. <laughs> <laughs> She tries to venture out. To yeah, her I love it. Especially since she moved here, she had been trying to understand yeah. like, what drives you know oh, wow. different areas, different color schemes. Right. Yeah. For this one uh -huh. and um, this one, it's actually she went around the old town and took pictures of um, like the ruins of the village, printed it on the canvas and painted it on the top of it and created the composition. I was going to ask if that was you. <laughs> yeah. It is, yes. <laughs> Right. And this one is. Oh, really? He's right here. Oh. Very good wine. <laughs> Salud. Mr. Panda Wine. <laughs> Mr. Panda Wine, good. <laughs> I'm so emotional. Not to this calorium, share with Sakeli. Is she here or in Georgia? Tris Mahatwari. Tetrovici. 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 T